Hi, welcome back. This is Dealer's Choice 101, uh, video two of our three-part uh, Dealer's Choice uh, instructional and um, insight into the Dealer's Choice games here down at the International. Right, stud. Yep. We've got a lot of stud games in our variants, haven't we, here, Joel? We've got five. Five available to choose. So let's run through the basics, shall we? First, seven card stud. Hopefully everyone knows seven card stud. It's just a high game, make the best high hand. Simple. Every player gets dealt two cards face down. And then they'll be dealt one face up. The dealer will announce them 9, 10, 7, and a deuce. So the player with the actual start round from the blinds, as usual, as you would do in a holding game. This player loops at two. Barry's got a deuce showing he passes. And this player completes the big blind checks. Then we go along to what's called four street. The dealer's going to burn a card. He's going to deal four street. So every player now receives another card face up. You just got to bet. It'll be a round of betting again. Another Remember, turn. it does start with high, the high hand first. So the betting will always start with the high hand. So, so in this situation, on four street it'll be in ten seven. On fifth street, you've got your king high now. No gambling. So let's forget about the rest of the hand. Because oh, sorry, round three. Better go yeah. through the rest just yeah. quickly. Because we'll go to sixth street. Again, king high first to act. Got the best hand showing. Betting's complete. Deal will burn again. Seventh street down and dirty. It's called. You receive this card face down. One more round of betting. So there's a lot of rounds of betting in the stud games. Pots can get big. By the end, the person with the best high hand showing will claim the pot. So if you have a look at what these people. So that six is over here. So that's going to win it, I six think. is good. Big, big, big hand in uh, in seven stud with you know, very weak looking boards. Now, any advice for starting hands? I, I would, yeah. you know, in your first three cards, if you're rolled up. Now, when people say I had rolled up sevens, rolled up kings, rolled up means three of a kind in your first three cards. That very hard to get, but if you've got absolutely enormous. Other hand, you want to start with ace, king, queen of diamonds, ten jack. Queen of Diamonds, these kind of hands, three very connected cards that are working for you, that give you enormous possibilities considering you get seven cards, you've got another four cards to hit, your flushes and your houses and stuff like this, your straights, so really, really nice. Pocket aces with a, a, a king showing, nice good starting hand, disguised as well. Um, and always remember that the hands thrown away are very key to you, if there's three hearts gone and you've got four hearts showing, or, or three hearts showing, it's less likely you're going to get a flush. Uh, so you have to card. So, that's like another player's going to put you on getting to the Correct. Uh, and you have to bear that in mind. But do count the cards that have gone. Try and understand who's thrown what, in what positions they are. Try and work out what their what their their two um, uh, hole cards are. So that's that's basically seven stud for you. But I'm sure there's, there's lots of stuff on uh, on the internet you can get to. You receive seven cards. Best top five card. High hand wins. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we'll go on to high low, shall we? High low stud. I don't think we have to deal it really, do we? No, it's exactly the same, but best five card low, best five card high. And the, and the low, it has to be, the low has to be eight or better. Yeah. So five cards with eight or less with no pair. Okay, so that's a low qualifier. Yeah. In the low as well, a straight or a flush doesn't count against you. No, so you can have ace, two, three, four, all of diamonds, that's good. I mean, well, it's big, obviously, for the low, and it's obviously big for the high because we've got a straight flush. So, the uh, steel wheel. The steel wheel, absolutely. So that's high-low stud. Um, let's do rash, shall we? Now, same variant as, as, as high-low, except forget the high. It's low only. But no qualifier. No qualifier. So you could have a pair of jacks, and the other guy's binked a king on the river to make a pair of kings, and your jacks win. Okay, so it's low only. Yeah. So you're looking for in Raz, you're looking for ace deuce three, ace deuce four. Those first three cards that I hand are absolutely huge. You've got those, um, it's it's a massive start and edge you've got over the rest of the players. Okay, so no qualifier and again, straights and flushes don't count against you. So if you've got two, three, four, five, nine, you've got a nine Raz, and it's all in diamonds, still a Raz, still you know, you've still got the best hand if the other player's got a ten. For instance. Absolutely. And don't forget it works down. As well, that's the most important thing. Is you'll count down. So, for instance, the best Raz hand, Barry's got 7 6 4 3 deuce, and I've got 7 5 4 3 deuce. He wins. I've got the best low because mine's 7 5, his is 7 6. Some people you'll hear refer to them as a smooth 7 or a smooth 8 or a rough 8. A rough 8 would be 8 7 6 5 4, or a smooth 8 would be 8 4 3 deuce ace. 
So that's Raz really. Simple game, can get a lot of action. Don't forget, people are always betting their boards rather than their cards most of the time, so don't believe them. London Noble. Variation on Raz. Yeah. Basically, it's exactly the same as Raz, but the straights and flushes count against you. That's right, so the nut, the nut low is ace, deuce, three, four, six. six. Ace, deuce, three, four, six, no flush. Okay. Again, no qualifier. Yep. The lowest hand wins, but the flush counts against you in London low. Again, starting hands, you want, one, two, you want ace, deuce, three. Preferably went low, but you want ace, deuce, three, ace, deuce, four, two, three, four. Then, then kind of hands to start with very, very nice. Yep. The Cadillac, the stud. Oh, super stud. We super love this stud. game down here at the International. One of my, I must admit, since playing with the, the guys, they've been playing it a long time. I've been, I've been playing it a while. I love this game. And it's a great variant of, 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 um, of, of studs. So, Joel, let's run through a hand, shall we? Yeah, this could take a while because it's quite quite important. Because this is going to be chosen most of the time people are playing. Yes. Every player is dealt five cards face down. No changes there. Always five. Always five. You don't get four, seven, three. It's always five. Always five cards face down. There's a round of betting. Players will then discard two of their cards. So they'll take two randoms of these six players. And then, once the round of betting is complete, the dealer will declare showtime. At which point, you choose one of your three cards to show. So, because it's a high low game, it's always advisable to maybe show your lowest card. If anyone shows a king or a queen, they've probably got rolled up kings or rolled up queens. Three kings and three queens. So, Everyone shows a card on 3rd Street, and the dealer will deal away, he'll burn one, and he'll deal this way around from the button on clockwise, and then the best high hand will act first, so Ace-9 will have to act first here. Again, round of betting, we'll receive a fifth card, the best high hand will act first again, which would be a pair of eights. Betting's complete. There are, there are variants where you can take, make a change on fifth, but let's not that's a bit sick of people. Yeah, let's not go here too much. Right. Third again, go to six street. Again, all the players will see six street face up. Again, pair of eights is the best hand showing, best high hand showing, round of betting, and seventh street. Just like all the other stud games, you get seventh street face down. And then the pot will be top between the best high hand and the best low hand. Something we would need to remember here in Super Stud. Once, once you've made your changes and you've exposed showtime, you've got your card over, it is high-low stud, basically. And once again, you are looking for, well, let me try and find the hand that you're looking for, just to show High, four, three. See, you're looking for these kind of hands, uh, well, for the high. Uh, let's have a look. The one ace. Yeah. See, this, this as, as the first three cards, is the nuts, you would say. Ace, deuce, three. Mm. That or, roll, or rolled up aces. <laughs> This is the nuts. This is the nuts, Barry. I'm going to teach some super studs. Why is that the nuts? You can't make as many straights with this, right? Five, four, three, four, three, deuce. Okay. Get your money in with that. This is good, obviously, because you could win the high with just an ace high. Yeah, obviously. And you've got the nut flush uh, potential. Yeah. And, and the steel wheel. But uh, I like rolled up aces, actually. A showing. Yeah. You're not going to get a low. But I tell you what, you can bet the shit out of it all the way through, that's for sure. And uh, you're pretty happy with having rolled up aces. Um, but yeah, as Joel says, I, he, play, he plays a lot more super stud than I do. So ace, do three, two, three. You're never going to pass this no. all in. You're never going to pass this all in. You're not going to pass rolled up aces all in, are you? No. Even rolled up kings, queens, jacks. A rolled up hand, even rolled up aces, you're probably not going to pass. Um, the, 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 the problem you've got is that sometimes... Uh, you can get a lot of money in before before you actually expose any cards, and you'll find out that the guy's now going to show an ace, and you're up against rolled up aces against rolled up eights. You're pretty much drawing dead. That's why these hands, these hands are really good to have because you can hit the nut low and at least get some of your equity back, even if it's a chop or something like that. You could get, get some punter in between drawing to a worse low as well. But um, super, truthfully, take your time and have a little, have a little uh, go of Super Stud. It's a fantastic game, very strategic, of what, what cards you show, what kind of information you're trying to give off. And uh, um, I think when you come down to the club, if you do come down and play these games, Super Stud is one that's one picked a lot, and there's always a lot of action in it.